Alrighty, we're gonna get ready here to announce my favorite Friday the 13th couples, everybody. So let's get ready, and I actually got three on the list, uh, three of my favorites. So we're gonna go with, uh, for number one, Jenny and Paul from Friday the 13th Part 2. Definitely one of my favorites. I don't know why, you know, the way I got this camera set up, it seems like I'm sitting this way, or sitting, uh, not, you know, straight in the video, but... This will work, but anyways, uh, my first favorite couple of Friday the 13th, the franchise, Jenny and Paul, uh, great dynamic there. Um, all these got great dynamics. I mean, I mean, all three of them do. All three of these couples I got are, they got great chemistry with each other uh, on screen and whatnot. So Jenny and Paul, definitely a great couple. Uh, you can't go wrong. Uh, of course, uh, I do like Paul a lot. Um, definitely one of my favorite uh, male characters in uh, the Friday the 13th franchise. He's one of them. He's not the one, but he's one of my favorite male characters, which uh, I will be doing a video uh, sometime next uh, next weekend on uh, the male characters, my favorites of the franchise. But yeah, Jenny and Paul are my favorite. My second favorite uh, couple is, this was very, very tough because part three had a couple of couples. But I chose uh, Andy and Debbie, or Debbie and Andy. Uh, I think they were really good. Yeah, of course, you know Debbie the, is pregnant. I believe it's supposed. To be, I believe she's pregnant with Andy's uh, kid. Uh, but I, I think their their chemistry too is really really great, and you can tell they really really uh, are uh, boyfriend girlfriend. I mean they they match up really well. Um, and, you know, really nothing uh, more to say about them. But then my other favorite, and this is coming from Part 8, Rennie and Sean. Great chemistry right there. Uh, you know, Sean had her back the whole entire time. Uh, all the stuff that she was going through uh, in uh, Part 8, or all the stuff that Rennie has been going through in Part 8, dealing with the uh, young Jason hallucinations, Jason himself. Uh, right when they get to New York slash... Uh, uh, Canada and when they actually get to Times Square, actual New York and Times Square and you know the whole thing where they, it's just the two of them running around in <laughs> all over New York, Canada uh, from Jason even on the train sequence I mean he always had her back and, and she always had his and uh, just really really uh, great chemistry with uh, Rennie and Sean and you know guys that is it um, th there could have been other other picks I have but these are my three favorite all-time couples of the Friday the 13th franchise. So, uh, you guys tell me in, in, in the description. Um, I, I know I only got like 53 subscribers, but if you guys have seen these films, let me know who who were your favorite uh, Final Girls, who were your favorite uh, Friday the 13th couples, uh, whatnot, and um, uh, it'd be neat to sh see what you guys come up with. Other than that, uh, stay tuned because uh, I'll be back here next Thursday with some more Friday the 13th related videos and get ready because we're in the new year things are starting to get heated up with this uh, with these topics because I have a lot of topics still yet I want to dish out for uh, this franchise because it is the because it is a lot of fun doing this stuff um, I think one of the topics I will be doing on is uh, the favorite Jason mask, favorite Jason look behind the mask, all that good stuff. And we'll uh, definitely uh, be ready for those starting next Thursday, uh, leading up into uh, the week before that, which will be Friday the 13th in January, which I'm super stoked because I've been watching a couple of the films myself. Can't get enough of Friday the 13th. So take care, guys, and you guys have a great and wonderful night. And uh, that is it.